It is. The D by D podcast on this October 4th, 2017. October 4th. Happy Trucker Day, everybody. Uh, 10 4. What does that mean? 10 4 over and out. It's the Trucker Day? Yeah, Happy Trucker Day. Oh, okay. We just got tagged in a post by the D by D podcast. Yeah, we're going to have to share it because not everybody follows the so, D by D podcast. So this is. But it. what you can do is you can follow the D by D podcast off of here. Right. We have a few technical difficulties tonight. I, mean, I don't want to say that. Uh, yeah, we're going video. audio only. Paul has a pimple. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, our, our video equipment is in another location. We're actually shooting outside in the car right now. We're in the vehicle, right? Because you know how but, I am about mosquitoes. But what's so great is that in such this short period of time, there's a lot of bullshit to talk about. Well, let's start with the positive, man. How how about them who that's, bro? Are, are we ready to revisit our, our predictions mm-hmm. after this two-game winning streak? Well... One thing I could actually hang my hat on and say that they've beaten me and they've outdone me because I said one and three after going into the bye and they got two and two. They got a game on me. Now, um, do we know who they are based on what we saw? I don't. I think they're better. I don't think they're dominant like they did Miami because Miami's just a terrible football team at this point. But they're better than they were week one. Sunday was rough, bro. Sunday was a rough game. Like, you you could you spin it however you want. We won 20 to nothing. Right. The defense was legit. But there's nothing about Miami that looked competent oh, out there on the field. The first that, drive. Outside the first. Ajayi in the first drive is, I mean, you thought for a second, you thought that Kate Cutler was going to just carve us up. And even a lot of the national media hype, they were saying, You know, because um, Cutler's greatest year was with Adam Gase uh, in Chicago, and they thought that you were going to get a revisit of that by him going to Miami, and Miami's just got too many issues. They have too many problems. Um, But like I said, based on that, I don't – I still – they're going to be battle-tested when they go when when uh, Detroit comes to town. They, Detroit's coming to town, right? Yeah. Yeah, Detroit's coming to town yeah. after the bye week. So they're going to be battle-tested when Detroit comes to town. If they can beat Detroit, then I feel a whole lot better about about the team going forward. Well, if they can I'm, split their next two games, which is uh, Detroit and Green Bay. Well, they haven't been 2-2 two two since uh, – shit. They're, it's been 0-4, 1-3. Uh, one and three, I think, zero oh and four or something in the last four years. Or how many years it's been? They've been seven and nine in a row. This is uh, 2012, 2012 yeah, number through 2016. Three. They've been oh, oh, one and three, zero oh and four, seven and nine seasons. You know. So, with that being said, I mean, I, look, I'm glad that you you get a win any way you can get them. But I, I'm not ready. To, to say they're they are playoff. Then but But what's almost better who than do you, all right, here's the question that I wanna say. Who do you give play who you give the game ball to on Sunday? Uh me for waking up and watching it. Because I was out till five in the morning the night before. <laughs> so I think right, I well, think Sean Payton should send me a game ball. Well That's why you, we didn't podcast on Sunday either. Who would you give the second game ball to? Uh, I guess, uh, oh, McCarroll? No, no, uh, no, McCarroll no, had the week. Uh, Crowley Carroll. had the pick. Yeah, the Crowley had the pick. I told you what I know. I don't know shit. Um, the, uh, Mike, Kamara. Kamara. Camaro. Com, com, yeah, Cam- Camaro, because he runs like one. Uh, it's either going to be Kamara or... I mean, no, the defense as a whole by Goose Agen or Michael Thomas, dude. Michael Thomas is is doing an excellent job at receiver without without really Snead. Think you better recognize. Yeah, what's up with Sam, him. bro? I don't know. Oh, I, Sam. I, he, he, I know you were suspended, but you're supposed to come back this week. How you how you get hurt when you ain't even working? <laughs> That's the question, bro. Well, he um he's coming. Yeah, hopefully he comes back, and then it just makes. The offense is is for real, and Kamara, the he's getting better every week. The dude's getting better every week, and he continues to impress. He's doing great out the backfield. I mean, 
look, and, and a lot of people who are, who are like this, you know, wanting to see Adrian Peterson get the ball. He's not made for it. Uh, we got him at a cheap price. We didn't know we had the running, the firepower at running back that we had when we signed him. So, to better in the best interest of both parties in that regard is to get rid of him, send him to a team that needs him, and we can bolster up this offensive line. We can do, uh, you know, find some help somewhere else that can get us to the playoffs. You know what I'm saying? I mean that that's that's what we. Well, we're gonna to have to at. replace uh, Zach Street. Zach Street. Absolutely. I think uh, he's out for the year. Unfortunately, I think this might be the last. He might be done. Right. I mean, I I don't want to say that, but he he's him and Drew been there since 2006. I'm surprised he's made it as long as he has, and he continued to win that job year after year. I mean. He, him and him and Breeze just have a, they feel comfortable with each other, you know. They understand exactly what's going on, and and he continued to win that job. I mean, you got to be impressed with that. But the, the the life of a lineman, he he's done an excellent job. He's been around a hot spin. minute, right? Right. I think I think uh, who was there before him? The guy that comes on uh, Stinchcomb. Yeah, and he came in after Stinchcomb. Yep. Is that the guy's name? He yeah. hosts a preseason yeah, game. Yeah, Stinchcomb, yeah. I do have sports now. I don't host a sports, uh, sports podcast for my health. So, Stinchcomb and, and Aaron Brooks. And another beautiful thing, man, is Atlanta losing to our second, our third favorite team. Oakland would be our second. Yeah. Falcons and, lost to our third favorite team. That was beautiful to <laughs> yeah. see. Well, well, what I wanted to say, too, is, is uh, we I wanted to bring that up with with Oakland, too. Like, it's a it, – uh, this – this great quarterback, it looks like he's going to have a rough career the way this is going with all these injuries. injuries huh? He reminds me of Tony Romo. That's 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 what I'm getting. Like he's, late Tony Romo, though. Tony Romo didn't get hurt as bad. No, not as bad. Right, career. right. And, and, but uh, just from a physical standpoint, too, they're, they're built the same in a sense. And that fucking like, sucks, too, dude. Because Oakland's oh, he's, been waiting to be good for right. so long, and now EJ they Manuel, finally find a quarterback. They have to manage EJ the game Manuel until he comes back, and hopefully they got enough games under their belt. But their division is so tough that it's if they don't fan. win, if they don't at least split, like you talk, the Chiefs are going to the playoffs, the, <laughs> the Broncos are going to the playoffs. Um, we got a hot one, bro. Yeah, you got a hot one. Uh, the Chiefs are going to the playoffs. What what else did I say here? The Broncos, yeah, Broncos are going to the playoffs. The Chargers can beat anybody on any Sunday. They just don't beat anybody. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> you know, but Oakland's going to have a tough ride to get back. What about the Bills? About three and one uh, I know, on top I, of the they, AFC. They're the sleeping giant. It, it looked like the Jags were going to be the sleeping giant. It looks like the Patriots but, are like the 20, 2013 Saints. So, uh, oh yeah, Patriots record breaking defense. They're gonna do it. They're going back. They're gonna do what they do. What's up They'll, with your boy Darren, man? Darren, the burner, right? You gotta get that defense in shape. Oh, <laughs> shout out to Darren Burner. Uh, Where's Darren? Right? In, uh, New England Patriots. Darren's like world tour right now. Where, yeah, I think he's he he doing the, the Hurricane Harvey. Yeah, he was there, but I, I think he's somewhere else. I think he's one of the other hurricanes. Maybe he went to Florida. I don't even think he's in the country. I think he's in one of them islands, like the Virgin Islands or something That's like that. That's gangster. Jose. Hurricane Jose. Um, but, but Shout out to that, got, man. Like, I hope, um, I hope the Bills make the playoffs. Bro. I think they had the longest playoff drought in the league. And I think it's like 2001. Wow. Last time they made the playoffs. That's amazing. Remember the, uh, and the music, first si- round music City Miracle, right? That's the last time they made the playoffs. Do you remember oh, that game? Oh, yeah, yeah. Tennessee. With, uh, with, the, with the lateral. Yeah, that, that Tennessee scored. Yeah. People still think is a was a forward pass. It probably was a forward pass. Mm, well, well so. this is what I, I, I want to – if they do make it, like they're – you know, you know the Patriots are going. Patriots are probably going to win that division again. Unless Buffalo can handle their own and at least split with New England, you know, like if they could. They split. usually do though. Buffalo usually plays. New they England give them tough. a game, yeah. You know, 
And then you got to think, Buffalo's played a tough schedule so far. What's the Jets' record? Are they 2-2? Two two they 2-2. Two two. Yeah, the Jets are the... Amazing. Miami's the chumps in that division. Um, You think they re- you think Cutler regrets getting out the booth and coming to play quarterback now? Uh, I mean, yeah. he's getting a check, but, I mean, he's getting yeah. his ass whipped every week. Dude, but, and he's in Miami. Like, they... Let's let's keep it real. Like they're not gonna have as much damage as we as we had here to clean up. Like it's a lot of wind damage and stuff. So he's gonna be able to enjoy himself. Shout out to everybody in the parish, man. Going to get that money, man. Uh, oh, what to go? Oh, like they all over the place. No, not FEMA. Money. I know. They you going, know what I'm saying? FEMA oh yeah, they're gonna, paychecks. You know? Yeah. Well, her FEMA's coming back. I don't know how true this is, but I read something that one guy FEMA called them asking for twelve grand. What? Yeah, I guess it was on the news or something. After after these storms hit, this guy got FEMA money back when Katrina hit, and what? they they call him looking for their money back. Oh yeah, oh they 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 filed the claim because they because they got paid for Katrina. Too? Right. Yeah. So how does that work? I don't know. I, I I wasn't living here. I was in Homer, so I didn't really get FEMA money. Well, I didn't get FEMA. Well, money. what I mean is, you, you get what well, you only allowed one FEMA check. Well, I think I think they they must be. Assuming the FEMA money was a loan now and not a and not know. a grant, right? Might have been like a SBA loan or something. Well, no, yeah, but I don't think they tell you that when you uh when you get it. Well, it's only I mean, really, it's a twelve grand. I think they call it assistance. It's FEMA really assistance. not a lot of money when it comes to that, like FEMA money. Shit, let somebody call you tomorrow morning and say, "Hey, Paul, I need my need twelve grand." Well, yeah, right. <laughs> that, but I'm saying, yeah, yeah but twelve but grand for back. FEMA, that's only that's small. That is small, but see, small. that's because I think people were getting like four or five grand just just basic living. Yep. You know, for a few oh, months. everybody got a five thousand dollar check. Yeah, I it was something that. like that. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't get a fuck. Not everybody. Was my everybody early, but me. Well, everybody in, oh, you in, was the in parish. Your, you was in your mid-20s, right? Early, what you were doing with that? 23, you, 24. Just had, you just had one kid at the time? Had one kid at the time. We had some... Aspect dispatch. Uh-oh. Check this whole, Gotta pause this, right? We'll be back.